Oh, the pizza man is here today. Yay, pizza. Not that I'll have it, but I'm glad to see he's here. His first, his first appearance. Everybody's getting set up. Stand by. Well, the first customer brought me four old knives. One being a really old Dexter, big Dexter. I didn't measure what I guess is eight inches, maybe ten. Actually, it's like nine and a half. You can see it right there, Dexter. She's an old, baby. I got to take them home and clean them up for her and sharpen them. Second one, I have no clue what it is, but I've never seen one like it before. It's very unique. No name, no number, no anything that I can make out as you and I peek at this thing. The second one is, looks like it could have been a Dexter, but you can see by the size of the handle, it was a big knife, but it's wore down real bad now. Really thin. Not too flexible, but, but you can see what size it was originally right there. She said, I hate these new stainless knives. Can you sharpen these up and clean them up so I can use them? I said, I can. Huh? <laughs> and this old antique. Yeah. Yeah, this is better for you. Picking up, picking up. I got some new prices to share with you for uh, June. I went to dollar fifty per inch, straight bladed, high grade Japs two dollars, serrated I left at three. Pockets I made five and six, and if they're 50 50s, eight bucks. We'll see how that goes. Spider coat H1.
chest of it. The best of it. something to keep me busy for a change. I got a like an eight inch fillet knife of some sort. These are called uh, Yorktown Brazil. Pretty cool. I think they're all the same thing. Yorktown Brazil. Nope, this one's a, this is not it. This is a from the land of China. And this one says Emperor. She might be from the same spot. Japan, much better. Japan, much better. Clint, that's a pretty nice old knife. Okay, I gotta go to work. Things are picking up. Got a nice knife here, a repeat customer. And another fellow, a new customer, just brought me two hinkles. And a Chinese copy of called Fernandez.